are back. Welcome back to the episode of Get Nose on Ebony Rajopolis. Right back at it. Let's make some room for this guy. Because this one, I saw this dropped. I saw a bunch of people untapped. And this is one from Hot Butcher. This is Yellow Moss. And I was like, I'm a big green moss guy. All versions of it. The single, the double, the triple. Well, I don't know if they do a single. The double, the triple. Fantastic brew. And then I saw Yellow Moss and I was like, this got to happen. So, uh, luckily my brother was able to get it up by him at halftime. And he gave me a can. Thank you, Troy, very much. So this is one that I traded with my brother. And this is a... Uh, I got a yellow moss. This is a citrus, Simcoe, Amarillo hop, double IPA, 7.5%. Now, green moss, one of my favorite hop butchers of all time. And this has taste and notes of fresh citrus, light pine, pink grapefruit. Canned on date of the 4th, January 4th. Today is, what the hell is today? February 21st? 22nd. 22nd. Thank you, baby. Jenny's in the background. And this is, um, it says mel Mellow Yellow. Now, I don't remember the hops from Green and Moss, so I don't know what makes it green, what makes it yellow. I guess it's the hops, but there it is. Super pumped for this one. Been waiting for it. Snap some tin. Thank you very much, Troy. It's kind of riding up on me here. Now, this was sitting out for a good solid 10 to 15 minutes. Let's get that puppy right. That's a nice, that is real nice. Okay, that's got a beautiful deep orange color to it. Creamy, creamy, frothy, fluffy white head, two fingers. I went a little heavy at the end of the pour there on purpose. I mean, non-see-through. I see a tiny little bit of sediment at the bottom, but no floaties. This was stored upside down in my fridge. Uh, it just looks beautiful, cloudy, creamy New England look to it. Get a nose on it. I'm not getting much. I don't know if that, if that head is too thick there. Still, hold on. Let's whittle that down. Let's whittle that down a little bit. Okay, we're getting there. Getting something. I'm getting like a, like a bready, yeasty orange smell. Oh, this smells fantastic. I love that bready smell, and then like a white bread or like an uncooked dough. And then like it's just a, a generic orange flavor on top. That's really all I'm getting. I'm not getting nothing else. Troy, thank you so damn much. Cheers. Let's do a two take on this. Let's give it a, a, another whirl there. they say here fresh citrus okay I'm definitely getting the orange that's generic fresh citrus so like I already said I'm getting a nice orange pop to it definitely there light pine I mean there is a slight sting on the end I don't know if me, if me I would necessarily say pine but I guess, I mean, if you're getting sting, maybe they got it as pine. But I'm definitely picking up some type of little bite at the end. Pink grapefruit is where I would kind of draw the line. I would say more. Hmm, there's something else there. It's like a nice sweetness pop besides the orange. I'm having it. It's almost like just like a... A blanket residual sweetness with the orange. Maybe they're calling that pink grapefruit. I don't know how. Um, and light pine. Like I said, yeah, I'll give you the check for pine. It is light. There is a bitterness there. If you want to call pine, go right, go right ahead. I don't think anybody would argue that. But this is very good. Very good. Is it as good as green and moss? A uh, green moss? Different. It's more bright and vibrant and light. Green it was more like heavy, earthy New England. It's a little more lighter. 7.5, well, that's 2.5 or 5? 7.5%, I mean, well hidden. It's a little bit less creamier and thicker than green moss. 
I wish I could do a back-to-back -back battle on these, man. That would have been, that would have been fun. So, my opinion, I would say I, I'm still, I'm, I'm Team Green Moss. That is one of my all-time favorite from Hot Butcher. But this is not far behind. Fantastic brew. I said it's, it's almost like, from what I remember, a lighter, a lighter, softer version of Green Moss. If, if I could put it that way. Medium bodied still, but it's that bright orange. They're saying fresh citrus. I'm getting like a bright. It's a, just a nice soft orange flavor to it. It's very good. Very good. They did it right on this one. Uh, it, it's it's easy drinking. So, uh, smooth sipping. Not much at all. After that little bite at the end, it kind of just like rides out. It fades out. It doesn't. It's not like an offensive end to it. Like you like. A pu mouth puckering or you, you extreme dry. It's just a real clean finish. It's, it's damn good job. I like it. I like it a lot. I would definitely highly recommend it. This is something you're easily four packing, possibly two. Uh, you're getting it next time you see it. It's a champion brew by them. Like I said, it's not that. Like I said, Green Moss is one of my favorite. This is not that far behind. I would still pick Green Moss from what I remember. But damn fine job. I would four for that every day of the week. In the books, Troy, thank you very much. Truly enjoyed that one. I really wanted to get my hands on this. So glad it happened. Everybody else out there, peace. Whoa.